Good morning, welcome to a very sunny Monterey in California. And this morning, I'm gonna go take some photos, but the vehicle we're gonna go take some photos of, and I'm gonna drive it, is this lovely 300 SL <laughs> Colwing. Wow, what a special thing. So, I mean, when someone says you can go and drive pretty much any of the cars on for sale, you've gotta go and do it, don't you? So I thought I would bring you guys along and let's see what it's like. 300 SL Gullwing. These were introduced in February 1954. Well, that's when they were unveiled. Oh, it's just such a classic, cool design, isn't it? I think most people on their bucket list of all-time cars, these have got to be up there, don't they? And they're just so cool. When you open the door, <laughs> you sort of pop your hand in there and try not to whack your head, which I've definitely done before. And then look at all of these gauges. You can actually hear the clock ticking. These gauges are so nice. And all these switches, just a very cool interior. Some camera gear back there. Lots of luggage space. Proper GT. And don't smack your head. This car, single family ownership from new. That is incredibly impressive. Matching numbers, original factory wheels, bodywork, engine. You can do everything in one of these. This was restored by Mercedes uh, a little while ago. And it's still in pretty amazing condition, but you can do everything in one of these cars. If you want to go, go to a cool event, Going, tick. You're, you're basically invited. Oh, you've got your spare tyre. Oh, your mallet for your wheels. Yep. Three litre inline six. Bosch mechanical fuel injection. It's one of the things they talked about back in the day. 240 brake horsepower at 6,100 RPM. Four speed manual four-wheel independent suspension and hydraulic drum brakes. I think this is going to be pretty cool. So let's get in the car and go for a drive and take some photos. Okay, so getting in the car, one of the things you've got to do is, I think that goes down, is that right? Yeah, it's pop, pop the wheel like that. And then I guess it's a one foot in and then whoa, pull yourself in and then ready to go. <laughs> Okay, let's start it up and go for a drive. We're in the car. Whoa, it's very cozy in here. I was just looking around for my seatbelt, but I guess there are, there's no seatbelts. Seating wise, my seat moves back and forwards. Um, starting up the car, we had to put the choke on a little bit, but that's when it's cold. And then it seems to be Press the clutch, check you're in neutral, and then you push the key in. Happy days. Right. Mirrors. Don't, don't really have any mirrors. One thing, although, being an older car, is you can turn around and see pretty well. So, get moving. We've got this massive steering wheel, just navigating a slightly bumpy bit of grass. Seating position wise, it's a case of what do you sacrifice because everyone back this time was really short. So all the cars are designed for shorter people. So I'm, I could have my seat a bit closer, but I then don't think I'd be able to move my feet. Right. Okay, okay, off we go. Things you notice right away, oh, get used to the gear stick, is it's quite loud in here. It's not super quiet. The, the gear stick is quite, <laughs> it's quite sort of 
wobbly and you're trying to work out, okay, one is over there, two is back here. Everything's quite a delicate little, little motion. I'm gonna stop in one second and take a photo and then uh, carry on. such a cool experience driving something like this. You get the, oh, apparently if you've got a passenger, you're very likely to like be rubbing their legs. So maybe one for take the girlfriend out in. But it's so loud in here. Well, it's, it's not that loud, but it's, it's reasonably loud. You've got a lot of engine noise and everything coming through. Let's go for a poodle. As, as a thing to drive, it's, it's pretty simple. We've got, you know, three pedals, a gear stick, no complicated sort of mesh or, you know, things you've got to double the clutch or anything like that. Four gears. Strolls along quite nicely. On this road at the moment, we've got quite a bit of cam like camber. And because there's not tons of support, I'm slightly sliding out of my seat. But, oh, I'm going left here. That's going to be interesting. Steering wise, it's quite heavy at low speed, but you have got this large, <laughs> and there's a bit of play in the, the wheel, but it feels like you're moving the rubber rather than there's just nothing going on. You can feel the sidewall of the tire kind of twisting. But as soon as you get up to, you know, 40, 50 miles an hour, it's quite lovely. <laughs> We just found the horn and it's down here on the passenger side. Oh, there's a real gearbox wine. Of course you want to show. And there we have it, first drive in 300 SL Goldwing. It's, it's just effortlessly cool, isn't it? The, the dash and all of the dials are just amazing the details and all the little bits are just very cool as a driving experience it's, it's it's it feels older but all of the stuff's the same like the gearbox is very easy to use you have to be quite precise and it sort of wobbles a bit before you do that but you know you get in and off you go it's it, it warms up quickly but it's got these little windows that you flip open on the side and as soon as you flip them open it just rams air into the cabin so I don't know what it'd be like on a 40 degree day or something like that, but today, when it's sort of mid 20s, it'd be pretty cool. Right, I'm gonna take a few photos and get back in the car. The one thing you have to be careful of, and it seems to be something that's happened to everyone in this car, is watching your head on the door. If you lean in the car and then get out, pretty much guaranteed you're gonna smack the back of your head. But taking a few photos, let's get back on the road. There we go, happy days. There really is something special about this view that I've got right now. It's just the dials and the painted dash and the way everything is done. It's just such a beautiful, lovely place to be. <laughs> it's quite loud. All right, we're gonna head off into the fog, I think, and hopefully find a nice little waterside road to take a couple of photos on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so much better. Yeah, a little bit more driving, a little bit more of the 300 SL Goldwing. Wow, what a cool thing, look at that. Look at that, it's so sick. Everyone is coming around going, what? <laughs> tell me more about this car. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. We keep having to put the doors up because it gets hot. It's, it's not even a hot day and it gets hot. And we're trying to work out what the little vents do and whatnot, but ah, I'm gonna take a few more photos and cruise along. Okay, we're 
we're on our way back to base now. Had a bit of a drive, had a lot of fun, and we've come across this some sort of Porsche rally or something <laughs> going on, and all these cars keep going the other way, which is quite cool. But the amount of attention you get apparently in a 300 SL Gold Wing is, is quite something, and it is a very cool thing in this lovely red. We had, when we stopped up to take some photos, loads of people came over to come and say, say hello and, and see. There we go, that wraps up my time with the 300 SL going. What an amazing bit of kit. And this one is in particularly lovely condition. Yeah, if you want an iconic bit of Mercedes and car history, a gold wing's gotta be, gotta be the way to go. Or do you go Roadster? Both are for sale here today. But thank you very much to Bonhams for, for letting me do this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.